exotic food I've ever had in my it's life. So it just good. is beautiful. Oh, it, 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 it is. It is. It's not it is. that yes. good. It Isn't is it? that good. It, it makes you go, good. whoa. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> We've done that for a while, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything that makes you go, whoa? Um, I think, Bobby you know, Carol. just eating. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no question about that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, bread and butter pudding. When I eat that, and you've got that little crispy topping to it, and it's that succulence and that, oh, it just dribbles all down here. And, oh, it puts right, that shiver Stop it! Stop shivering. it now! Shivering. Stop it, I can't control myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Roads Across China. It's a Tonight UK TV food. Yes. Gary Rhodes, everyone. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Time for a quick break, but when we come back, what noise sums up summer for you, Maxine? Welcome back to Loose Women Live from London this Monday lunchtime. Now, later up, we'll be catching up with the star of the huge comedy hit, Gavin and Stacey. That's actress Joanna Page. <laughs> <laughs> now, continuing our summary theme, a new survey has revealed that Britain's favourite summer noise is the lawnmower, followed by pub garden chatter. So, what noises makes you think that summer's arrived? Oh, well, yesterday when I was out in the garden and I got the paddling pool out for Kira, and that noise of them splashing about in the paddling pool and really squealing and yeah. giggling and... Can you hear that? Oh, no, it... <laughs> that now that sounds like someone having a wee. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make me think of summer. It's but the paddling, um, the paddling pool and the kids in it and, and the us squeaking. sitting there all chatting around. We, we did the same that. thing actually. We got the got the paddling pool out. It's brilliant. I mean, we actually managed to have about 15 minutes to ourselves. We yeah. didn't have to entertain. We sort of got the chairs out, sat by and had the Sunday papers. Aww. Just a garden hose with it trickling as the water board's watching, not streaming out. <laughs> and just, you know, Amy in the pool, just waving the Aww. hose around. It's lovely. Aww. It's really My nice. favourite noise, children playing in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, actually, no, it's not. I, I do quite like the sound of pub chatter, obviously, yeah. Um, yeah. and glasses um, clinking and things like that. But I, from where I live, I can't hear anything. C occasionally, kids playing, but I don't hear. No doubt you I don't hear lawn mowers because there's no grass. Well, I, I do, but I, but I don't do it. I, I, I only did it loudly once. I only shouted like, shut up! <gasps> well, because it's anyway, nice, I won't go into it? that. But it, you know, my favourite sound of summer. Should I tell you what my favourite sound yeah. of summer is? It's the sound of aeroplane engines taking <laughs> off Getting ready and, going. and leaving. There you oh, go. There it is. Just oh. for you. <laughs> oh. there you See, got, isn't you that got, just that a great sound? sound as well, we yeah, because I'm going. going. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Now, I have to tell you, I'm going to give you a demonstration, and I know you'll all understand this. I go Probably. in the garden with my bowl, okay, and my just plate. Just the yeah. bowl. And I go, so everybody can hear the... <laughs> do you do that at home? Yeah. And then everybody can hear, and then you Why? get your knife and fork, and you go... <laughs> and then you get a, a, a glass and a bottle, and you go... And everybody can hear it, and it sounds like summer, doesn't it? And it sounds. <laughs> Hang on, you've got no food. You're not. You don't no, eat no. Anything. Well, it, there's only me, but then I pretend there's a bowl over there, and I go round and go. <laughs> so then I go to two bowls. Sherry, I don't get it. So there's two of us having lunch in I the garden. Why don't you? Why don't you yeah. Why don't you just have your lunch outside? Well, because. <laughs> No, because there's only one of me and I have to pre pretend I, there's two of me. I, I get that mentality because, yes. you know, I sometimes go in the supermarket and instead of buying one potato, I'll buy a, bag, a five pound bag because oh, yeah. I don't want to look like sadly, Tragic. tragically single. Mm. Even though I don't mind being single, I don't want to get to the checkout and just have <laughs> one of everything. Oh. Everybody knows you're sad and tragic yes, and single. Yes, I know. And I, and I don't know why I do it, but it's the same mentality. But, but just to go out with an empty, <laughs> when you could but just you see, take your lunch is outside, it's bizarre. Sounds Sherry, like you hit the bowl with a knife. Does it? Well, I think it goes around my garden. And your thinks go, I'm having a barbecue on my own. No, no, and no what so they actually <laughs> think is the neighbours is, oh, the mad woman's out. <laughs> <laughs> Just ignore her. She's well, eccentric. Sherry, they're all watching well, one of, the bedroom one of window. Go, what's she doing? What's she doing? <laughs> She's at it again. She's hanging her bowl. One of the one of the nicest of holiday noises when kids aren't around is. You know when you're on, on a beach and you shut your eyes and all you can hear is the waves sort of lapping, not sort of crashing great loud waves, it's sort of 
exactly. laughing in and laughing. out like that. Why don't you just go into your garden and play the noise of, of waves? And that would make you feel a bit yes, more summery than just watering. Yes, I do get the hose and go <laughs> psh, 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 <laughs> like that. So that everybody thinks I've got like a oh, fountain. Oh, Sherry, I do worry. <laughs> It's not funny at all. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> okay, we mentioned the noise that makes you feel all summery. If it involves cutlery, banging on crockery. Uh, if not, drop us an email. Let us know what your favourite summer sound is. And we'd love to hear your view on any of the topics we've been chatting about today. <laughs> all of them. Now, have you seen the pictures of Prime Minister Gordon Brown and his wife Sarah, as well as Tory leader David Cameron and his wife Samantha enjoying their summer breaks? Now, they certainly picked the right time to holiday in Britain, but I wonder how much they're thinking about work. According to experts, it takes us an average of three days, nine hours and 25 minutes to properly relax when we go on holiday. So what do we think? That sound about right? Um, oh, you keep coming to me first. I, I know, quite like. you're my favourite. Oh, thanks, Andrew. I like you too. Yeah. Anyway. You're closest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, You're I, nearest and you can hit me if yes, I don't come to oh, you yes, first. And I will. I know. Um, I, I think that's right. It takes me about three days because I get really excited about going on holiday, you know, and I don't mind the packing even though I pack for everyone. But then I'm not a big lover of, of the queuing, checking in. I hate checking in airports and Ray gets terrible airport rage, children rage, um, crowd everything rage. rage, crowd rage, getting well, to the airport rage. Well, yeah, because he just wants to get there and all of that just drives him nuts. It drives him nuts to have to be there three hours before. You know, and the kids keep going every two minutes. Is yeah. it time to get on the plane yet? It's time to get on the plane yet? And you think, no, it's time for you to get in the car and let me get on the plane. Yeah. And <laughs> go and get fostered. That's all part of it. Yeah. 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 Journey through the airport and everything, that's all part of no, the holiday. Well, it probably is when you're on your own with just a little tiny little bag like that with your flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> really, no, mates. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But when you've got kids and that, it is a bit stressful. It's and then when I get there, I'm one of these that when I get there, I can't really relax until I've unpacked everything. I like oh, it all unpacked oh. in the room. You take everything the kids out of the bag? <laughs> Always. <laughs> everything How up, put it in the, and then it's done and I can relax then because it's done and I don't have to worry. But otherwise you get kids going, Mum, where's my shorts? Where's this? Where's that? So Where I just go, right, it's all there, leave me alone. The, the survey said that apparently it takes, well, well, what is it, three hours, nine, three days, nine hours, 25 minutes to properly relax. Would yeah. you say that's about right? Uh, for me, land? yes. I think from about the third day. And I always know because all of a sudden I go, oh, I can't keep my eyes open and all that tiredness and yeah. all that. Yeah. That's when I get that. And I love that. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Karen? Well, um, I shut the front door, that's it. As soon as I shut my front door, I, as far as Gone. I'm concerned, I'm on holiday. I don't think about... I love the journey to the airport. I love being in the airport. I love sitting up at the bar at the airport. I love sitting in the lounge at the airport, <laughs> having a drink. I love being on the plane. I love getting there. And my friends get really annoyed with me because when I get there, <laughs> total opposite to you, I never take anything out of the bag. It just stays <laughs> in the bag. And then you when it's filthy, the it goes on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> when I get there, literally, I go, right, um, let's go and check in. I'll meet you in the bar in 20 minutes. And they're like, 20 minutes? We've we got to unpack, we've got to have a shower. We're like, no, I'll meet you in the bar in 20 minutes because I just go straight to the room, get changed, straight out. To the bar. Yeah, well, what do, what do you want to spend time in the room for? You want to get out. Because well, well, you've no, been on I a long journey. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, 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 but I think the idea. difference is, well, is you're on your own. So the flight for us, That's if it's true. a long yeah. flight, if it's an eight-hour flight with kids, it's hard work. So you've got to keep them amused. It well, is. And, yeah. I've, and you get grumpy old people like you go, shh. Yes. <laughs> Can you get your child to stop kicking me seat? I want to go, yeah, I'll kick your head in instead. Well, I... Do you know what? That is the most annoying... It you is. let your kids kick the seat? Well, sometimes I don't let them kick the seat. Right. I'd rather them kick you. <laughs> I'm going to be travelling nice. on, on my own with the kids in, in a few weeks' time, so we're going on holiday to France, and we thought this was a really good idea. Um, Steve's going to leave a few days early, drive down. Uh, so we, you know, we, we've got a house sort of organised, and he's going to set everything up for us, so we'll have he can take the, like, the big bags and stuff and all the nappies. We thought, brilliant! It's just dawned on me. I've got to fly on my own with, with two children. <laughs> and Amy, I mean, bless her, she's like a mini Steve. I mean, she's got muscles yes. like that, and she's really strong, feisty, and does not want to sit in your lap. And Finley, bless him, uh, you know, he's lovely, but I don't know what kind of use he's going to be. I can't say, hold her, while I, you know, check in or do you whatever. I'm kind of surprised that you've got two children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised, but I've not travelled on my own with two before, and I have to say oh. I'm really dreading it. Well, really dreading it. A, really it'll be a learning flight. curve. It will be a learning curve. See, I'll learn never to I, do that again. I, my, it takes me at least three weeks to stop. My head takes three weeks to slow down. 
Really? And, yeah, it re I've got to find something to change that. Because I yeah. love airports, I love aviation fuel, <laughs> I love all that. <laughs> and I love being at the airport and, and, wait, and I go to airports sometimes and wave and to nobody. You just really. go there, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you bring but your little bowl and clap it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm having lunch at the airport. And it takes me a long time, but you know, there is a program about tribes, and I've just I've been thinking, I thought last night, maybe I should go to a tribe that and be, be on holiday idea. with a tribe. Yeah. Well, you can't even contact anybody. Yes, because yeah. yeah. you see, I've got good. everything with me, and I'm always texting, and people are going, do you know how much that's costing? But it takes me a long time to get out of the black. How many times a day do you text Keely? Oh, three, four, five times a day. And the rest. And the rest. <laughs> and the <laughs> thing is, I can't do. get out my black trunk.